OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to remove duplicates but keep the first instance of the record. I'm going to show you four different ways of doing this. We're going to look at an option called Remove Duplicates. We then use the Unique function, which is available in Excel 365 and Excel Online. We'll use the Advanced filter, which is available in any version of Excel. And we'll also look at using Power Query. So let's start with Remove Duplicates. So I've got this data. And if I go to Sort It, I notice that I've got quite a few duplicates. Now, probably the easiest way to sort this out is to click anywhere in the data. You don't need to select it all. Go to the Data tab on your ribbon. And then in the Data Tools group, go to this button, Remove Duplicates. Now, a couple of things you need to be aware of in this dialog box. First is this option here, My Data Has Headers. If you do have headers, make sure that is ticked. The next thing to consider is which columns you want to base the identification of duplicate records on. So for the moment, I'm going to say base it on all columns. So if I click on OK, it tells me that 48 duplicate values were found and removed and 18 unique values remain. So I can see here that with some of the company names, I'm getting duplicates. And that's because the contact name is different. Now I'll undo that. And say I just wanted a list of unique company names with the associated information. What I would do is I'd click anywhere in the data and go back to my Remove Duplicates button. And this time I'd unselect all columns and then just tick the column, company name, that I want to base the identification of duplicate records on. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And you can see now I just have unique company names in my data. OK, let's go on to method two. Now method two uses the unique function, which is available in Excel Online and in Excel 365. What I'm going to do is just copy these column headings over here. And I'll paste in column widths. And in G2, I'm going to use the unique function. The only argument we need to use here is array, and I need to select all the data that I want to extract unique items from. So if I select that first row, Control Shift down, Control Backspace to take me back to my formula, close the bracket and press Enter. So that's given me a list of unique records. If I wanted to sort those records, I'd have to put unique within the sort function. So sort, open bracket, and then a close bracket at the end. Now, if I put my data in a table, so to do that, I click in any cell in my data and then go to Insert Table. Click on OK here. And then I add a record to my table. Now, if I go back to my unique list, you'll notice that the new entry is automatically being included in this extract of unique records. So that's the benefit of using the unique function with a table. Your unique list is dynamic. Now let's go on to the next method, which uses advanced filter, and you'll better do this in any version of Excel. We need to do is click somewhere in your data. Then go to the Data tab on your ribbon, and in the Sort and Filter group, select Advanced. You need to copy to another location. So to do that, click in the Copy box. I'll delete what's currently there, and then I'll select G1. And then tick this box, Unique Records Only. Click on OK, and you've got your unique records. If I want to sort them, I just right-click in one of those cells, Sort A to Z. Let's go on to the last method using Power Query. And to use Power Query, just click somewhere in your data, go to the Data tab on your ribbon, click on this button from Table Range, and then click on OK here. You need to select all the columns that you want to base the identification of duplicates on. So I'll select all the columns in the data. First column is selected, hold down Shift, click on the last column. 
Then I'll right click and I'll choose Remove Duplicates. Now, an interesting thing happens here. If I sort these names in ascending order, you'll see that I have two David Lees. Now, the reason I'm getting two David Lees for otherwise identical records is that I have a difference in case here with a lowercase l there. Now, Power Query is the only method that will distinguish between case. Now, that may be or may not be what you want. I'm going to assume it's not what we want here. So I need to go back to these applied steps and click on the step before I remove the duplicates. And then what I can do is right click in this column heading, go to transform and choose capitalize each word. Click on insert. And then if I go down to the last step here, you can see I now only have one David Lee. If I close and load these records, We'll put the records on a separate sheet. Now, what happens if I add a new record to this data? Let's copy the record that I used with the unique function, and I'll paste it into this table that the Power Query extract is based on. Now, all I have to do to retrieve that new record is right-click in the table and choose Refresh. You can see now that it pulls through that new record. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.